According to the Economist magazine, economists became fascinated by the rule of law after the crumbling of the Washington Consensus, which was economic orthodoxy in the 80s, holding that the best way for countries to grow was to get the policies right on subjects like budgets and exchange rates. However, the Asian crisis of 1997 to 1998 caused economists to re-examine what had gone wrong with the so-called Washington Consensus. The new conclusion now is that if the rules of the game are a mess, no amount of tinkering with macroeconomic policy would produce the desired results. This conclusion clearly explains what has happened in many developing countries, especially here in Nigeria and much of Africa. Policymakers typically get the policies right in formulation, but very quickly, poor governance and the absence of the rule of law begin to undermine all efforts. So, as The Economist magazine has stated it, governance, that is political accountability, and the quality of bureaucracy, as well as the rule of law, have now become the big issues for speeding economic growth and ending underdevelopment. Economist Daniel Kaufman and his colleague Art Cray have worked out the so-called 300% dividend. What this says is that in the long run, a country's income per head rises by roughly 300% if it improves its governance by one standard deviation. For non-statisticians, don't worry about this thing with standard deviation. All we just said is that if the governance value is just a little bit much better than the average value, the country's income per capita can rise by as much as 300%. So folks, what we need is simply to follow and enforce the rule of law. It will help us to raise the level of living. I'm Magnus Packholt, and that's my view. <laughs>